Hey everybody, Topher Welsh here for VisualEffectsTuts.com. It has been quite a while since we have talked. I apologize, it kind of dropped off the face of the earth, but the important thing is, is that I am back and we are going to be providing content on a regular basis. Uh, VisualEffectsTuts.com is not dead, uh, despite what you probably think. I've uh, just been super busy, but me and a buddy of mine, Rafi Stein, you gotta check him out. He wrote the last video, last Thursday's Killer Video Thursday. Um, me and him are going to be rocking up visualeffectstuts.com, and we are going strong. So, um, today what we're going to be checking out is the AE Scripts Fixel plugins. There's four right now, three of which we will, we will look at today. There is Fixel Light IT, Contrastica, and Edge Hancer. Edge Hancer, um, if you can see here, it is more of a makes the edges of your images pop. Uh, we got Contrastica, which basically makes your image more contrasty, but in a very, very smart way. And then you have Light IT, which is a great color correction uh, plugin, but not color correction in the thing that you, the way that you think. It's more to uh, fix your shadows and then fix your lightness areas. So let's. Oh well, there's also a Fixel Colorativity, which is a five presets of different color, but we're not going to check that one out today. So we're just going to focus on these first three here. So let's quit yapping and let's jump into After Effects. So I have this uh, piece of footage here. It's just a uh, a brick wall. It's a pickup shop for a music video I was shooting. Um, but what we're going to check out is, let's say the, a frame like this. Eh, it's a little blurry. Let's go right, right here. I like this frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Effect, Fixel Algorithms, Contrastica. So right off the bat, you're going to see Contrastica is punching up our contrast pretty nice. You get some good definition here in the mortar, uh, in the borders of these uh, bricks here. So what we can do, first thing you want to do, make sure you do, is if you're working with standard definition, 720p, 1080p, or 4K, you pick the correct definition that you're working in. So I'm using 1080p, so I'm going to make sure that I choose 1080p, and you're going to see it actually makes a difference. Um, Right off the bat, this is a pretty good effect, and a lot of you will probably be happy with this, but if you want to screw with it, make kind of a, a different look to what you can. So let's jump up your local contrast just to see what happens. That's 200% when it's usually set at 50. So you can see the difference. Um, global contrast, you can jump that up too. Um, reset that, see the difference. Uh, highlights and shadows priority can bump that up too and that kind of uh, kind of makes it go makes the effect go a little bit duller it might not like have your highlights go as changed so um, reset that and you can see the difference from before and then we got the intensity which is a big one so just bump your intensity up to 100% you can really tell that this is going to be super super contrasty that's before and that's with your contrast with the stock settings with your intensity set to 100%. Pretty crazy. So let's turn off Contrastica and let's check out the next one, Fixel Algorithms, Edge Hancer. I like Edge Hancer a lot. Edge Hancer is really, really, really cool. And right off the bat, you can't see too much is going on here. But you look in here, this is a really good piece of footage to look at this for, uh, look at your edges. Let's take this off. And let's take that off. And now you turn back on. You see these little edges of every little pixel are being more defined. So just with the edge radius set at 2, you can actually mess with this, jump it up to like 20. So it makes your edge radius, uh, this is at 14, so bring it up to 20, you can see your edge radius is going to be changed that much more. But I like to keep mine at 2, that's the, that's the default settings. And then mess with the intensity, just bring the intensity up to 100%. And you can see this is really, really defining your footage subtly, but it's just making it pop really, really nicely. So let's turn off Edge Hancer, and we're going to go into Effect, Fixel Algorithms, Light IT. So Light IT is pretty cool. It's Like I said, it's a color correction plugin, but it's not color, color correction. What it does is it takes your shadows 
and it's going to reveal detail in the shadows by lightening them up a little bit and then it's going to take the highlighted parts and reveal more detail by dulling them down. So if you, if you can see, just with the default settings, see it's already taking this white, dulling it down just a little tiny bit. You see a little bit more detail in here. If you look up here at the at this shadowy part, it gets pretty darker when you take it off. So put Light IT back on. It's going to make this pop a little bit. You get a little more detail up in here. It's just a very smart plugin to really reveal a lot of detail in each shot that you have. Uh, just like the other ones, you got like tonal range. You can uh, make it reveal more, reveal less. Um, let's reset that. Take uh, your intensity. Your intensity is obviously going to be a big one. Bump up your intensity. It's really going to lighten this up and dull these down. I mean, look at the whites here. And then with Light IT applied with the intensity all the way up, you really get a ton more detail on this big white brick here. So, and your your shadows are really being lightened up so you can see what's inside there. So that's basically the plugins. If you want to check these out, let's uh, hit all reset back to uh, their default settings. And let's turn on Contrastica and Edge Hancer. And see just with all the default settings on all these uh, plugins, you're really getting a great looking look here. And then if I just turn off the effects for all these, you can really tell the difference. It's really improving your image. I mean, it might not be exactly what you want to use every single time, but it is great to have these. And it saves a lot of time trying to get this effect with, you know, the stock effects within After Effects. So if you guys want to check these out, I suggest you go over to aescripts.com. Um, each one of these plugins are $29.99. Um, they're not the name your own price, but you know if you like to save time and you like to uh, you know have a really really good looking images with little effort, and it seems like this is for you, I, I would seriously check them out. They're really great. So um, as for me, that's about it for VisualEffectsTouch.com today. I will see you guys in the next post or video or tweet or Facebook or whatever. But just don't lose hope on us. We are still around. Uh, life is just getting in the way, like everyone does. But um, I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors. Thank you to all of our readers who still you know, are going to be tuning into this, even though we've been gone for like three months. But um, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. So hopefully I will see you guys at NAB. I'll be there the 11th through the 14th. Uh, I'm going to be attending Media Motion Ball and just walk around the show floor. Maybe I'll do some interviews this year. Not totally sure, but uh, if you're there, hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. Let me know. We'll uh, we'll hang out, all right? So until next time, my name is Topher Welsh for VisualEffectsTuts.com. I will see you guys next time. Bye.